Hi, I'm Paul Torgerson. It's Friday, January 25th, 2019, and this is a look at the GRC news from overnight, brought to you as always by Navex Global. From ZDNet, GDPR sent organizations across Europe into a tailspin last May over their data storage and privacy procedures. Now, months later, Only 59% of companies believe they are GDPR compliant. Earlier this month, Google was fined 50 million euros by French authorities for allegedly railroading users into consenting to processes they did not understand. Regulators, more than ever, are holding businesses responsible to take reasonable steps to protect the personal information they store. From the San Francisco Chronicle, Oakland may have run afoul of city and state ethics laws when a city employee used their municipal email account to forward a campaign message from a presidential hopeful. The email was forwarded to reporters by a spokeswoman for the Oakland Police Department using an official email account. State and city ethics codes prohibit public employees from using government resources, including their official email, for campaign purposes. However, enforcement of said code is rare. From IG.com, out of Davos, world leaders spoke on the need for a governing vehicle to manage the technology sector and the use of data. Although there was no coordinated or structured strategy on what global governing architectures might look like, leaders spoke for their own domains and agreed that some form of overall governance is needed. From FedWeek, the Interior Department has warned employees unpaid during the partial government shutdown of the possible consequences under ethics laws of various outside activities and assistance. This includes offers of meals and other assistance that individuals and organizations have made available to federal employees affected by the government shutdown. Never let a good deed go unpunished. And to close the week with a spot of good news from Bleeping Computer... A recent study shows that companies following the requirements of GDPR experience lower frequency and effect of data breaches, fewer records being impacted in the attacks, shorter downtimes, and lower overall costs. Go to Bleeping Computer for details from the Cisco benchmarking study. And that's all for me this week. Remember, Navex Global... Protecting your people, reputation, and bottom line. I'll see you Monday.